Rafal, what have you noticed being in front of these rooms? Well, you know, from my point of view, it's a totally different experience because I'm a director and Gina is a writer. So, um, you know, I, first of all, I haven't had too many opportunities to pitch a movie, you know. Usually I've been uh, very, very much on the fringes or uh, very much an independent. So I, there's only a couple of times in my life when I was able to actually go into the studios and, you know, do a pitch. But, but for a director, it's mostly you're not really pitching a script, you're pitching a movie that you want to make. So you're like presenting your whole vision, how you visualize it, what it is all about. Oh yeah, of course you have to pitch the story because if it's a script that you found or developed or so you have to do a little bit of that too. But it's a lot of it is about just, you know, getting them excited about this imaginary movie that you want to make. And it's a lot of it is about personality. They, they have to love you because they got to live with you for like at least a year or two. And if they start hating you, you know, working with a director is a very, very, you know, very, it's very different than a writer. Man, it's like you're you're working with with a team, with the with the executives, with the um, financiers, with the crew, you know, for days and days and weeks, and then maybe in the post production for months. So you know, you gotta like enjoy being in the room with this person because you gotta live with this person. So a lot of it is also about personality, you know, and about power and about. Um, you know, sort of feeling a sense of com camaraderie, you know. So, um, you know, so ba but basically, you know, um, you know, in most of the times that I had a chance to pitch, um, it was b after Sundance, you know. There, I've always in my, couple of times in my career, you know, twice actually, I made a sort of a hot film at Sundance. So for a brief moment in time, you know, I got an opportunity, usually like a six months window to, go out and be allowed to speak and present, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and in those times, you know, a lot of it was like they wanted to find out who you were and what, what movie they could give you to do. But you always have a whole suitcase of films you've been dreaming to make and finally you want Sundance and it's your chance to make the movie you've dreamed of making, but they don't, very often don't want to hear about that. They want to hear about you repeating the same thing that you just did, you know, which is all a problem. Like, um, you know, after I did Fun, um, I had a lo I, I wanted to do this huge science fiction film, which had nothing to do with Fun, it was the total opposite. So they just didn't get it, you know. They wanted right. for me to make more movies about troubled teenagers. Which, as a business person, you understand. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. at the same time, you know, I got the chance to read some amazing scripts that I wanted to do, like Girl Interrupted or you know, uh, Virgin Suicides. There was like some amazing scripts that were given to me, which I just died to direct. And I tried so hard to convince mm -hmm. them that I was the guy for the job, but then they gave it to someone else. So, <laughs> you know.